In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing Nope. Nope is directed and written by Jordan Peele, and it stars Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, Stephen Yun, and Keith David. Now, this is a very different movie than what you think of what Get Out and Us are. Uh, those two movies really change the landscape of how Jordan Peele comes into the horror genre and changes things up a little bit. Now, this movie is categorized as a sci-fi horror film. Well, yes, but no, also. And the final trailers did give a lot away to what the concept of this story was. Uh, people said that Nope stood for not of planet Earth. Or when you see something, it's like, nope, get out of there, don't go in there, or something like that. It tells the story where a mysterious thing start happening in a small town. And brother and sister, played by Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer, who play OJ and M, want to capture this UFO, so to speak, on video. Now, the first half of the movie is really, really slow going. And Jordan Peele is known for the slow going build of his films. And there's a good reason for that, because the payoff in the ending is probably one of the best I've seen in a sci-fi film. I'm not calling it a horror film because that's not what it is. There's one aspect where you have this intense moment and it's a horror film, and all of a sudden it's like, okay, is that going to come back? Is that going to happen again? It does not. The acting from Daniel Kaluuya is fantastic. Kiki Palmer is the one that really, really stands out. I'm really curious to see if this film gets nominated for Oscars because Get Out did and that won Jordan Peele a Best Writing Oscar Award. Jordan Peele really knows how to write sci-fi, horror, and it shows. You could say that this is a long-form 131-minute Twilight Zone episode and, you know, Jordan Peele has said many, many times in his interviews that the Twilight Zone uh, from Rod Serling is basically so forth a, you know, he looks back on those and to get his inspiration on things. He has directed Get Out, which was a great film and a different take on how you see things. Us wasn't bad. It was a little bit down from what Get Out was. Still solid, but Get Out was still better. Nope. Now. Very hard to say where you could put that on the list of films where Jordan Peele makes and writes a film. I would say that this is a very close second to get out. Um, the aspect of understanding what's happening, how to capture this unidentified flying object is really interesting. And it's really different. Uh, Steven Yeun also is fantastic in this role. He pops up here and there as Ricky Park or Jupi, and it's just there you know Daniel Kaluuya is the laid-back character in this film Kiki Palmer is the more front and center the more focused and the action that you see in this is very very interesting not only that uh, Michael Wincott plays Antler's host who is this sort of technician who wants to capture and help these to get this footage of what this is the aspect of what the UFO looks like and you've seen it in the trailers but it's quick glimpses but when you see it on screen it's reminiscent of the old 1950s and 1960s sci-fi films of the yesteryear. Great callback for what Jordan Peele did. This movie is very different, and when you go into it, I went to it with very low expectations because I always like watching trailers, and the trailers gave so much away that I was like, okay, it's another UFO movie. No, it's absolutely nothing like that at all. The payoff at the end and the build from being it a slow movie, maybe the first... I want to say 50 minutes is build up, character build up, just a little bit character build up. But then when that one instance where the middle of the second act happens up until the ending of the third act, it's really, really fun. You're on the edge of your seat and Jordan Peele has a fantastic, fantastic payoff with what is in store for you. And if you love his films, go see this. Uh, like I said, it's more of a sci-fi than a horror. Horror aspects are there and put in there, but it's not much more than that. Very, very different than what you usually see on what your alien UFO movie is. And when you're introduced to these things, you'll see how this residents of this isolated town have witnessed this mysterious, you know, events happening and why. And there's this explanation to it from 
whatever it is. And Jordan Peele always gives fantastic explanations in his movies. I usually don't like that when a character just explains everything because it's like, okay, we should have just skipped to that part and that's it. You could have saved yourself time. No, this is in your face. It's fun. And it was a long time coming. The teaser poster was simple as well as the official posters where everyone is just looking up. It's fun, it's insane, and it's in your face. And it's definitely up there with one of my top films of 2022. For me, Nope gets five out of five stars. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Nope. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the aspect of this film being a sci-fi film more than a horror? Or do you think it's a horror film more than a sci-fi? Or do you think that they mesh together and become one? What did you think about the acting in the movie? What did you think about Jordan Peele's writing and directing? And what do you want to see Jordan Peele do next? And did you like the aspect of the build-up in this film from where it started all the way to the ending? Let me know in the comment section below about the questions I just asked. And also let me know what rating you would give Nope. And I'll see you all in the next review video.